Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for a very chaotic, sorry I'm having a crumb here, chaotic video. I'm not going to sit here and pretend this is some sort of professional makeup video because that's not really what it's going to be. It's a get ready with me, but it's a get ready with me for a day of drinking in London town and I'm actually going to bring you guys, I'm going to make this like an old school video of mine. I used to film, if you're an, like, if you've been here for a long time, I used to film this style of video where I'd get ready, do my makeup, have a bit of a chit chat. And then I'd bring you on my night out. And I miss those videos. Like I, throughout the whole of lockdown, I was just watching those videos. Like, oh my God, I miss just vlogging normal life and like vlogging nights out and it just being funny and slightly chaotic. And I love that and I want to film it. And I'm a 25 year old girl and that's what I do on my weekends. And I'm sure many of you guys can relate. So that is going to be today's video. Am I running really late? Yes. So it's probably not going to be the most in depth makeup video that doesn't mean that i won't revisit this so if you've watched this video and you're like oh, i really wanted like a super in-depth video about her talking about products what she likes techniques all of that stuff i can do that at a later stage i just i'm not that good at makeup so i always find it really crazy when you guys ask me about my makeup tutorial my makeup tutorial my makeup so i can revisit that at a later date but if you're going out this weekend or if you're at home or whatever your vibe is Welcome to the channel. I'm starting off by having a crumpet because mm, I'm leaving the house so early. Like, I'm literally leaving the house at like half twelve on a Saturday. But I need to have a crumpet so that I've eaten something. I'm going to have another one as well. So, not my usual drink, right? I'm actually sitting here with like a fish bowl of water. Um... It's really early on in the day. I feel a bit dehydrated. Like yesterday, I know I was a bit dehydrated. So I feel like that could come to bite me on the bum. So I'm actually going to sit here and drink a load of water. Because I just think I will be happy about that tomorrow. Also, this is like absolute carnage around me. I had to film something this morning, which required a very nice background here, but not there. So I've hidden everything down there. Life is a bit mad at the moment. I'm sorting out all of my old stuff, going through all my old things I need to get rid of. So yeah, it's just all a little bit chaotic, but all for good reasons um, that hopefully I can tell you about soon. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are good. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Grab a glass, sit back and relax. God knows what sort of journey we're going to go on in today's video, but I am actually really looking forward to it. I'm just so excited to bring the camera out. So yeah, let's get into it. Got my makeup. Hi guys, so I'm just interrupting today's video to tell you all a little bit about the sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare are an online learning community that offer incredible classes for creative people in a huge range of topics. Lately, I've been loving Tyler McCall's videos. He's an Instagram marketing strategist that helps you to utilize platforms such as Instagram to create revenue and real engagement in the most organic way. And I think this is super beneficial for any of you that are looking to be influencers or maybe just wanna grow your Instagram account a little bit for your business. His videos, specifically the class called Engage Your Community, help you to grow your account and tap into your audience in the most useful way. Skillshare offer classes in a range of different topics. For instance, they have classes on graphic design, creative writing, animation, fine art, web development, lifestyle. So it really depends what your hobbies and passions are. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will actually get 30% off an annual premium membership so you can explore your creativity online. Even if you've already had a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. I'll leave all the links below as well as my code, so make sure you guys go and check it out. Okay, ladies and gents, let's start with the brows. So for brows, we're gonna do Benefit products. I bought these yesterday. They're very expensive, Benefit brow products, but I think they're actually the best. I'm really sorry, I actually solemnly stand by that. And nope, they've never sent me anything. I have never worked with them. I actually just love them. So I bought the brow pencil in shade three, 
which I think is one of the best. I absolutely love this brow pencil. And to be fair, it does last me quite a while. It's not like one of those brow pencils that seems to just run out after a day. It's like creamy, I love it. So this is in shade three. And then the other product I absolutely love is the Gimme Brow. And I think that just really helps kind of like brush your brows up. Now, as you guys can see, I do have brow hairs. They're just crazy, crazy light. So I'm gonna take the kind of um, this side of it and I literally just sort of brush them up. I don't have long enough or dark enough eyebrows to do the fluffy brow look. So we make do with what we got, you know what I mean, ladies? I'm gonna start by, I do like a line under my brow. Sorry, I'm probably gonna do such a bad job at this just because I, um, I haven't like come and spoken and like done my eyebrows like this, I think ever. I'm wondering if I've got an old one of these. So yeah, I do like, I don't know if you guys can see me. I hope you can. I do a line underneath my eyebrow. Makeup artist, I'm really sorry if this video is really upsetting you and then I kind of do a light line here I also have like good brow days and bad brow days as well and I just sort of like do tiny little hairs starting from the base of the brow upwards like this I like to be a little bit more natural looking at the front I'm not a brow expert must I also just keep reminding you guys so I always do my eyebrows first I don't know why I just always have kind of done that all right so that's literally how I would do it and then I take the, God, it looks a little bit crazy right now because I've got no other makeup on. Um, and I feel like I need to kind of brush this front bit out a bit. And then I would take the Gimme Brow, again in the shade three. I love this product so much. And I just kind of like, that's when I kind of add a bit of texture. So this adds a bit of like brow texture. I don't know how to explain it. And I kind of just brush them up so they're a bit messy looking. That's a brow for you guys. So I'm literally gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye and then I'll come back and let you know what the next step is. Brows are kind of done. No, they're not twins. Do you know what? I don't even think they're sisters. They're just kind of, they're not cousins. They're like good mates. Maybe they've got different personalities, but they are good mates, you know? I, I, I've never once got my brows the same on both eyes. Also, we're gonna clean things up when it comes to concealer and foundation. For, I have got a little bit of um, a tan on, like a tan on, like a um, tan mist kind of product. This I've been loving actually. I got this a little while ago and I've been using it the last like week or so. Um, this is not an ad, but I am doing something with them over on Insta. And this is the Isle of Paradise Day Dew Mist. They also have a nighttime one, which I really like, like before bed if you want to do that. Um, but if you forget to kind of tan, this kind of develops throughout the day and I just really like it. It gives my skin a really nice kind of like dewy sort of glow, which I quite like. And I've got that on, but for my actual base, I'll tell you what I've got on and then I'll go quickly do it off camera just because I am running so late. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury um flawless filter product which i adore in shade four now when i first got this i used to put it all over my face i don't actually do that anymore because it's just for me it makes my foundation look a bit oily so i just put it on the top parts of my cheeks i'll put a little bit on my nose here and i do put a little bit kind of either side here but i try not to put it around this area because it kind of will just make it a bit too shiny my foundation that i'm going to use today we're going to use the maybelline 24 super stay it's my favorite foundation of all time two different shades here warm sun and sand sable when i mix the two i love warm sun for the summer but it's a bit too dark at the minute and then sand guys i just sprayed it everywhere all over my wall flip flipping flip let me show you what i've done the makeup artist guys here 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 and then it's all over the wall this is why i don't do makeup videos like i oh god i'm really panicking oh my god i also forgot to use my bobby brown face base i need to put some of that on right now this is all going wrong oh my god guys help me out okay we're gonna put some of the face base down here where i haven't put the charlotte Tilbury product get a cloth is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna moisture I'm gonna put on the Bobbi Brown face base, which I wish I had put before I put on that Charlotte Tilbury product, but that's okay. Um, everything's okay. Oh my God, the Bobbi Brown face base is probably one of the nicest products ever. Like, oh my God, I love it, look at it. Oh, love it. Mixed on the back of my hand, Warm Sun and Sand Sable. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush that really needs a wash. Mix those two together. 
and just go like in a downward. They say always do this down. I think it's so all the peach fuzz kind of doesn't. So sorry, that's my neighbor's kids. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell you a few steps just because I've got to try and speed things along here, guys, sorry. Concealer, I'm gonna use the NARS concealer, which I'm running low on, in the shade Custard. I did actually have a new one of these, but I don't know what I've done with it. Uh, on any spots that I have or any areas that I just want some extra kind of coverage, that's when I use the NARS Custard concealer. I do really like this product, but I do think there's probably dupes out there. I'm gonna try and link like the products I use and then also a load of dupes because if your budget does not want to stretch to a NARS concealer, which I totally appreciate, and you'd rather spend that on a gin and tonic on a Saturday, then I'll do my best to link something similar. My favorite concealer and something I don't know if I can link because I just don't know a dupe yet, is this amazing concealer from Laura Mercier. It is the Flawless Fusion Concealer. When I say this is a full coverage concealer, she was not messing around. Um, mine's in quite a light shade, it's in 1W, which is a little bit too light, I don't mind it, I quite like a light under eye, but I know some people are over that. Um, and then I will come back, I'm also actually going to powder just to save time, and I use the Hourglass powder at the moment, really running low on this, but it's beautiful powder. I'm now watching interviews of Doja Cat and now we've moved on to Olivia Rodrigo and I'm thoroughly enjoying them actually. Right, my neck looks a little bit pasty so we're gonna have to do a bit of instant tan down there or Vita Liberata, something's gonna have to come to the rescue. I'm, I, I, I always leave a little bit of powder in the inner corners. I, I'm not like into like baking as such but I do this because otherwise it just really doesn't powder very well. Sorry, I have a really itchy nose. For bronzer, I'm gonna, I have used the Bobbi Brown contour stick that I swear by. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light. I go like back and forth about this product all the time because when I first bought it, I was like, it's not worth 50 quid, because I think it's about 50 quid. Then I have days where I'm like, it is worth it, it's beautiful. And this has lasted me, guys, this flipping bronzer has lasted me, like I can't tell you how long. And I think it's going pretty well, so. Do you know what? Like the cost per use, it's not one of those bronzers that like literally runs out straight away. So now I'm kind of like, oh, would I rebuy it if I did run out? I don't know. It just seems like a crazy amount of money on a bronzer. But I guess if you're into makeup, it's probably not. But yeah, so I'm going to just pop that on. I like a lot, quite a lot of bronzer. I like to feel nice and glowy and bronzed. This is not really a contour product per se. I do have the, where is she gone? contour here we go i have this from charlotte tilbury which this is massive this product um but this is quite a bit more kind of muddy i would say than this this has a lot more like light reflex in it and it's not shimmery but it's just really kind of like radiant that is exactly how i would describe it exactly how they market it um so i go around the hairline like this remember i'm in a rush so you know, we're really going for it today, but I am gonna do a little bit of cheeky contouring on my nose. I don't normally do this. I'm actually not very good at it. So we could probably skip this step to be quite honest. I'll try it, because I'm in that kind of mood. So I'm gonna use this Morphe brush, which is an M335, I think. And I'm gonna use this, which is a little bit too warm, but, and really lightly, I'm just gonna go like that. Guys, I am no expert in these sorts of fields. I should not be allowed to be doing this right now. I don't know. Um, and then we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna use it all over my eyelid basically in the crease. I'm gonna darken this up a bit with this palette that I have from Anastasia and I'm gonna take the shade Sienna 
and burnt orange and kind of mix them and then really tap it off because this powder this palette i love it but it has a lot of fallout and then i'm just going to kind of put that in the uh, outer third of my eye just to sort of like deepen it up a bit i mean look it is a day thing but i feel like this is going to be going on into the evening this makeup so i want to look a little bit more intense than like an everyday I'm going to use this product which is the roller liner from benefit in the brown shade it's quite small and i just quite like a brown at the moment and i'm gonna do a wing i'm gonna bring it in halfway to my eye and then i'm gonna do the inner corner bit as well repeat that on the other side and then we'll do mascara and i'll do mascara off camera just because i'm sorry guys i'm in such a rush and i use the maybelline sky high mascara Okay, so we're now at this stage, and I'm even later than I was before. Um, and I look crazy because I've got my lip liner on, but no lipstick. It's because I just remembered that I want to grab something to eat before I leave. I've got to wear a mask for the whole time on the tube, so part of me is like, hmm, I'm not that bothered really about doing my lips. I'm going to go over my hair really quickly with the Dyson. I'm going to run and just do that super quick. I need to figure out an outfit situation because your girl hasn't really got one. And it's so grey outside and I want to be warm. Okay, update. I'm so late, it's actually funny. Well, it's not for the, my friends that are watching this. Like, ready? You wanted to vlog and you were that late. So yeah, I'm running very late. But here's my outfit of the night, outfit of the day situation. Should we put you here? Can you guys see? That's a really bad angle. Okay, I'm going to have to just hold you, I think. So top is white fox, really old. The straps are way too big for me, but... Nobody needs to know that. Shirt is Collusion from ASOS. Um, and it's kind of just like this big stripy shirt. And then these jeans are some of my faves, but they are really old. They are misguided X Starcy kind of jeans. And then guys, I'm like an high vlog. Hi. Hi, this is Jody. You guys know her. I was meant to vlog like, what's the time now? It's like, it's only, you know, it's not that late. Okay. 24 seven. Okay, it's 20, 24 seven. Right, but what time did we leave the house? <laughs> we left the house at one and I was like, it was all cookie on my on my get ready with me. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna vlog the whole day. Like we're going to Box Park, we're going here, we're gonna vlog this, we're gonna vlog that. I forgot to vlog everything. So we went to Box Park. It was actually really easy to get in. We queued like half an hour, but they didn't throw us off the table or anything. It's nice there though. It's so nice. We went to the one in Shoreditch. It was a good atmosphere, everyone was lovely. We met Fisherman Sam, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it out, Sam. It was so good, sorry. Sure. Now we've come to Broadgate. Broadgate Circle. Someone's gonna ask about this bomber because it's really cool. Look at the map. Hey, where's this from? Is this a trip? Is this just a trip? 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 Right. Anyway, guys. Just to clarify, if you watched me a long time ago, you will remember Kayla. She's back. I'm so happy. I want to film an old school video with her, but I don't want like a single shot. But we no. can't anymore. We can't. Oh, it's all summer. I'm crazy. She got a new job. So we're out here celebrating. Yes. A new job. I'm celebrating something. We're all celebrating. We are celebrating. Um. So I just thought I'd check in. By the way, what is this drink called? My drink. My drink. My drink. My drink. Oh, 
have you missed Kayla? <laughs> so many people. Yeah. So many busy. Lovely down there. Who's coming in? We're in Broadgate. We've got some friends. Oh, look, like, these are our friends. Hello. Oh, oh my god. I highly recommend. Very nice cream. Thank you very much. <laughs> As you see, result guarantee, no sports, no nothing, you know? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's not an ad. I hope you guys enjoyed that. No ad, that's just his natural skincare. Recommending that cream for two. What's the name of the cream? What's the name? Nivea. Nivea for mom. Nivea for mom. Nivea for mom. Nivea for mom. Hi vlog, so things took a turn. We met up with some people that we know. Don't worry, party of six all the way. And then they got thrown out and every, well, no, they didn't get thrown, they were asked, we were all asked to leave. One of them had his it bum, was, it was one of them had his bum bum out. It was a lot. <laughs> He had his bum out, you know. He was jeans up. I know, I wanted to sweat my car. I wanted to the heated, heated things I have. I wanted to poke one in the cheeks. I was like, ooh. <laughs> anyway, long story short, we're back on the train. We're going back to our residence. We're going Gemma's home. Gemma's going to her house. I'm going to mine. Taylor's going to hers. We all live in, up and down the country. We no, live we here, there. In, I can't we live very near, see. but we don't live in the same stop. So. We live all around the town. So we're going to our own stops. We have a bunch tomorrow, and then we think we might go out tomorrow night. <laughs> hey, vlog. Look who I'm with. Back again. So basically, I don't know how I don't know how I ended last night's vlog. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't try and rewatch. Yes. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they were, they were on it. Can we get a straw? <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. I did try and watch some of the clips that I filmed last night. Did you? I'm not going to lie, I don't think I made much sense. <laughs> There's a clip of us on the train. And we don't make any sense, so I don't even know if I put that in. Because like, if we don't make sense, I can't. It's quite funny. <laughs> I mean, it was quite funny, but I need to rewatch it. Now, what even is the time? Yeah, like, 10 past 3. No way. <laughs> it was like 1. 10 past 3, we've finally managed to meet each other out in the world unless we yeah, get some food. Yeah. I'm calling this breakfast but I can't really call it breakfast at 10 past 3. Thank you. Yeah. Honestly, the best cure if any uh, ever wondering for a hangover is a pint of apple juice. She's gone for a pot of tea and I've gone for a latte. Um, and loads of food. I think so much food, we're not going to be able to get it on this table. No. But I feel alright, I don't feel too bad. I kept drinking water last night, so... No way. Well done, you. I think that really helped, but hopefully it was a fun video and you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> but I'm nervous. I did a makeup tour at the beginning, so it goes all kinds of ways. It's like, you know those old school videos we used to film? I love those. Where like, I'd get ready and we'd go out on a night out together. It was kind of like that, so we'll see. We just came here to live life. Don't say we didn't live life. 